Hello, students. Welcome back to class. I hope you're all doing well. Are you enjoying your veggies, fruits, nuts, and seeds? And your grains? Are any of you making any delicious vegan pizzas, vegan lasagna, or delicious stews and chilies? I hope that you are. Don't forget, you can always Google healthy vegan recipes. There's so many good things out there, so many delicious foods. And remember that when you used to eat meat, you know what made the meat taste good was all the spices. And spices are, that's right, they're vegan. So, you know, it is totally possible to be vegan and you can live a long, healthy life as a vegan. I myself have been vegan for four and a half years, a little bit more. On June 27th, coming up in 2021, it will be five years. So for some people that think that you can't be vegan, that you're gonna just drop dead, well, I'm living example that you can be. I have had no meat, I've had no dairy, so no cheese, and I've had no no um, cow's milk, I've had no cow's yo yogurt that comes from cow's milk. I have only eaten healthy vegan foods. Veggies, fruits, nuts, and seeds. Put them in your shopping cart because peace begins on your plate. So open up your heart to the animals. You guys can totally do this. And I'm really proud of those of you who are. If you haven't yet subscribed to this channel, here's a little reminder, subscribe. Subscribe to this channel. It doesn't cost you anything. If you want, you can always change your mind. And it actually helps me out a bit. Gives me a little bit of encouragement to see that one or two people <laughs> subscribe every time. Makes you feel like, oh, that's nice. I like to get to know you guys as well. It's really actually fun behind the scenes to talk to different people. And I am just about to start a Discord channel because it occurred to me that I should have one as a way to get to know people a little bit easier. And people told me that I should. Because look what it says here. That vegan teacher banned me from her Discord. So how do we know that that's a lie? Because I don't even have a Discord. I'm just now in the process of trying to figure out all the buttons, what to press, how to start it. So that's it. We know this guy's a liar, this guy Maison. So what do we do when somebody deliberately lies? Well, we give them a whole pile of X's. So Maison is gonna get 10 X's just for lying because lying is absolutely not okay. In a world where we are desperately trying to tell people the truth about what happens to the animals and we have people like this that lie about the most basic things, like basically tr lying about what animal rights activists are doing that's extremely disturbing. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You get ten X's for lying. Now, some of the things that he also said in here is that he says it's not possible to be vegan, that you know you need meat to survive. So is it true? No, you don't. Let's have a look and see if we can watch a little bit of this. It might be a bit painful, but let's see if we can. If there's anything going on here that's worth watching. Now the beginning, this is, I, I did actually already watch some of this. At the beginning, I watched all this part here where he's basically saying that he is manipulating people and get, trying to convince other people to lie. And actually, you know what? That's another 10 X's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Because what he did is he went into, um, um, this guy who goes by the name of Deep Vegan and he went into his account and he got a whole bunch of people to pretend that they're vegan and wasted his time. So what that does is while Deep Vegan is really interested in talking to people who actually want to be vegan and want the information, what he did, this guy Maison, is he completely took the focus off of Deep Vegan and he thought he just used him as a toy, as a pawn. So this is what happens. You see, Animal murderers and animal abusers, what they do is they like to manipulate people. They have no conscience. They don't care how much they hurt people. They lie on their thumbnails deliberately. I never banned him from any Discord because I don't have a Discord. Um, and he he lied to a whole bunch of to a whole bunch of people who are in this this site here who are trying to have discussions, serious discussions about why we shouldn't hurt animals. So all of that's not okay. It's really distasteful. So um, 
let's have a look. I don't know at the end here. What does he do near the end? It's really painful to listen to, but let's see if we can. Oh, they're probably going to get an ad here, I guess. Um, so things are spinning here on my uh, on my particular uh, internet. So let's skip this ad here. Let's go over here and see what's going on. Did I got the whole thing? Rough ahead. Okay. Oh, that How wasn't good. How do you good. measure the power of an engine? I guess you can't just pause here. All right, so I think to end this off, it would funny? only be fair to show some of Deep Vegan's TikToks, you know, the ones that I haven't looked at previously, and we're going to see exactly why we decided to do this. TikTok is where he mainly blew up, along with that vegan teacher as well, and they call themselves animal rights activists to hide the fact that they think that they can basically just say that people that eat meat are really... To hide the fact, they, another lie, we're not, we're not calling ourselves animal rights activists to hide the fact that we believe that people who eat meat are harmful on this planet, that they are unkind, that they are murderers. So there you get another X for that. I'm sorry, Maison, but so far I haven't seen anything that's not one single check mark here on your side. We're going to have a look at Deep Vegan later. Um really horrible people and tiktok if you didn't know already which i'm sure you do is pretty much full of kids so the videos that they are making are most likely going to get recommended to kids especially ones that obviously end up blowing up and doing really well and if they're going to constantly i'm just going to comment right away about somebody who does these type of videos who has a weapon in their hand i'm already anytime that somebody has a weapon and thinks it's fun to use a weapon for no reason especially in these video games or like doesn't show their face that's at least another five X's. One, two, three, four, five. These are just, just really despicable, honestly. What's the point in this? Why don't you just sit up like a man and just talk? Show your face. Let us see who you are. Is it because you're too boring? Why do you need to do this? What's all this about? What does this have anything to do with what you're talking about? Do you not think you're going to get enough fans or followers? You have to go to the lowest common denominator of ch of children. Like, who are your viewers exactly? People with no attention span? Like, what's the point? Am I missing something? Why don't you just show us your face? Why are you hiding this way? Strange. You say that people that eat meat are horrible, horrible people and... And? People who eat meat are what? Kind, kind people? People who pay others to hurt others, what do you call that? If somebody paid somebody to hurt you, what would you call them? You would say they're kind? I doubt that. Strange. Think of the animals and stuff without actually giving context. What's animals and stuff? Does that mean animals and stuff? of obviously you know what a food chain is and how he what is a food chain is a food chain you going to the grocery store to buy an animal that somebody else killed not with their bare hands like we're not part of the food chain as you see it we are people who pay others to murder for us we rape animals into existence we forcefully take their sperm. We forcefully insert it into females. This is rape on either side. We steal baby cows from their mothers. We murder them. We steal their milk. We murder the mothers when we think, nah, we've had enough of them. We treat animals like objects. How would you like it if somebody treated you like an object? How would you like it if somebody treated anybody that you loved like an object? Do you not have any cats or dogs in your in your presence in around you that that you like? How would you like it if somebody stole their babies? Maybe you are the type of person who doesn't like animals at all and doesn't understand that they are sentient beings. It's weird. I guess for you, you think it would be okay if somebody took a cat or dog and basically f masturbated them, forced them to be pregnant, and then stole their babies and killed their baby puppies, turned them into a sandwich. That would be okay with you. What's going on? Are you hollow inside? 
It's bizarre. Humans have literally been eating meat for like billions of years. It's not exactly going to put the best idea into these kids' head. No. <laughs> you don't want the idea to be put into kids' heads that they should be kind? What kind of an idea do you want to put into their heads? That they should carry around weapons and be unkind? I guess that's what you want. Obviously, that vegan teacher does this a lot more than Deep Vegan, but the fact that they do it in the first place is still bad to me. And I know for a fact that they would use the defense that, oh, they're just educating children, which, don't get me wrong, it's a good thing to tell. They would use it as a defense. So you agree that we should educate children. Okay, you get a check mark for that. We should. Good job. I'm glad that you agreed that we should educate children tell children that you know animals are being hurt but personally i don't think it's you think we should tell them that animals are being hurt okay good you get another check mark for that because that's exactly what we should tell we should tell the kids the truth and then as older role models we should be i don't know how old you are maybe you're only 14 i don't i don't think you're much older than that it seems like it because what's coming out of your mouth just seems very childish but um yeah, I'm not sure what your point is here. It's a very good idea that they're telling these kids that they should be valued at the same level, if not more than human beings. Humans literally need to eat meat to survive. Nope. Another lie. 10 X's for every lie. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. If they literally need me to survive, then I guess to you, I'm dead. I'm dead, right? I'm just what? A hologram? What am I? Look closely. Can move my face. Can move my body. I think I'm alive. I think I'm alive. So why are you lying? It's strange. Like, uh, what? But anyway, here's his TikToks. That, that's your argument. Uh, what? That's your argument. <laughs> oh my goodness. Another X. So, yeah, I'll, I'll play this and show you guys what I mean. You know how non-vegans like to say that even though they consume animal products, even though they pay for animal products, they are not responsible for the death and suffering of the animals who are forced to suffer and die for those animal products. And their reasoning is that they don't do the physical act of torturing and murdering these animals with their own hands, therefore that makes them innocent. So by your logic, doesn't that mean that was innocent doesn't that mean that Hitler didn't cause the holocaust Hitler didn't murder the jews since he got his soldiers to murder them for him he excellent point deep vegan actually that was two points very good he didn't use his own hands mm -hmm. i mean sure he probably killed some of them with his own hands but for the very vast majority of them he didn't use his own hands so when you use someone else to murder for you, and that makes you innocent, doesn't that mean since he used other people to murder for him, doesn't that mean he's innocent? By his logic, he's innocent. Went. All right. Let's see. Let's see. What do you think that he's going to say to this? What do you think that Maison is going to say about all this? how you can compare not being a vegan to well being that h person that i can't say otherwise that h person why can't you say his name otherwise what you know i won't be making much money oh you won't be making money so that's the whole point of this the whole point is this is just to make money where are your morals where is your ethical code what is your responsibility on this planet your responsibility is to tell the truth and not lie like you did several times. And your responsibility is to be kind. And your responsibility is to be vegan as a moral baseline to not harm others and not pay them anybody else to harm others either. You have a lot to learn, young man. Humans have valued each other more than animals for like billions of years. I'm pretty sure. Depends. That depends. Not necessarily. We wouldn't be alive for billions of years if that wasn't okay. Anyway, with that being said, thank you so much to everyone that was in this video. 
All right, so we've established that there are several lies going on here. Let's have a look at what's going on with this other guy. So this is Deep Vegan. Now, I did a little bit of research. It says a backup account that apparently his main account was shut down because people who don't like animal rights activists telling the truth, they lie and they ban accounts. So let's see. This is his backup account. I just want to see. I notice he has short hair here and then longer hair. It says something. Try. Let's watch a few of these. It's funny that people who write comments like this are never vegan themselves. So you have no idea what will turn people vegan because nothing you have heard or seen has turned you vegan yet. You exactly. Try a different approach that people will consider being vegan. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is what we get all the time. That's right. How is he staying so calm answering this? He's probably answered this a hundred or two hundred times. Your choice to not respect animals is nobody's fault but your own. Nobody is forcing you to be cruel to animals. Yep. You are doing it because you want to. You want to be cruel to animals. And you blaming someone who is against animal cruelty for the... That's exactly right. This could be addressed directly to Maison. Thank you. Getting a lot of check marks here. Good job. Way to go telling the truth. And you're staying relatively calm too. The fact that you support animal cruelty... That's like a racist blaming a person who is against racism for the fact that they are racist because you're too immature to take responsibility for your own actions. So instead you blame everything bad you do on someone else. But go ahead and tell me what approach will make you consider veganism. And then tell me why that approach hasn't made you vegan already. Excellent. It's funny that people who Excellent write comments point. Like You know, you know how my main account was banned? We've reviewed. Okay, so they reviewed it and they put it back. Is that it? Let me just look again. Our community, you're temporarily blocked from posting. Okay, so he has been blocked from posting. That was what happened there. Okay. It's funny that people who write comments okay, like let's this go back. are... What's up? My main account has been banned once again. Even... Okay, now this must be a lot long later because now he has longer hair. No, I have literally not said or posted anything in at least a week because I've been blocked that too without any reason like i literally got blocked for calling someone an animal abuser for like two days and then when those two days were over and i got unblocked let me guess you called somebody an animal abuser who actually pays money for somebody to abuse an animal so you told the truth thank you for telling the truth deep vegan I got blocked again for like 10 additional days without any reason. And now, while being blocked, they have decided to ban me. Even though I haven't posted or said anything. Horrible. This is the dangers of censorship. Yep. And this is the dangers when you get people like Maison, who thinks it's a big joke, to rally a bunch of people to do evil things, to go into his site and to waste his time. What you're doing, Maison, believe it or not, it's not just a childish game. It has very, very, um, what is the word that I'm looking for? What can happen from what you're doing can, ha can cause serious harm to society. When we start rallying people to do evil things, that's how we end up with what happened in World War II. You are the kind of person in World War II who would have sat there and watched them take away these innocent people. Deep Vegan would have been somebody who would have been standing there saying, no, don't do that. That's the difference between you two. It only gets worse. Once you start banning people for their opinions, it only gets worse.
Absolutely. So yeah, hopefully I get my account back, but maybe I don't. Just in case you were wondering. What my main account got unbanned again, but at this point I'm expecting it to be banned once again within days or something. But anyway, I'm going to start blocking every single anti-vegan account, everyone who even mentions that I should get banned or that they want me to get banned. I'm going to block every single one of them because I know they're all just mass reporting vegan accounts. If you can't handle my opinion, then stop watching my videos. But if you keep harassing me, you're gonna get blocked. My main account got unbanned. So no, I don't want your number. Should we stop calling it slavery? But no, I don't want to give you. Should we stop calling it a holocaust? You mind and no, I don't want to meet you. Is it worse when it happens to humans? No, and no, I don't want none of you. No, should we use euphemisms to make animal abusers feel comfortable? No, we should tell the truth. Should we ca stop calling it rape? No. All right, thank you for that. So this person thinks it's wrong to call what we are doing to animals a holocaust because they are just animals. Even though in just a few minutes we slaughter more animals than the total amount of people who were killed during the holocaust. We both know rocks are not sentient. They are not even alive. But non-human animals, just like humans, have thoughts and feelings, the desire to live, the ability to feel pain and suffering. And your only argument for why they don't deserve any respect is they're animals. So basically you have the exact same mindset as a Nazi. Which is, they are different from us, therefore they don't deserve respect. Are you listening to this, Maison? Listen carefully. Just like you say, they're just animals. Anyone else could say, they're just Jews, they're just black people, they're just homosexuals, they're just women, which doesn't describe any traits. You're just saying that because they are different from us, they don't deserve any respect. Name the trait that, if true for a human, would justify treating them in the same way you treat animals. Name the trait, Maison. What is that trait? Good luck. You can't. So this person thinks it's wrong. Imagine having the same mindset as a Nazi. Like, you should understand Hitler pretty well. Because Hitler was like, they're inferior, therefore they deserve to die. And you're like, they're inferior, therefore they deserve to die. The only difference is that you have two different groups of victims. I mean, you're both in favor of a holocaust. It's just that you draw your line at non-human animals, and he drew his line at Jews and non-human animals. I mean, if we take your mindset, and then we just move that line a little bit, we have Hitler. Like, am I wrong? You see what he's doing? He's brave enough to tell the truth. Why aren't you, Maison? All of Maison's followers should follow Deep Vegan seriously and learn from him. You should follow his account on TikTok and be supportive. Don't go spamming him. You're here on this earth for a reason. Everybody is. And our only job here is to try to make the world a better place than when we arrived. That's it. Try to make people kinder, try to make the environment more clean, and try to stop animal abuse. And just the fact that we are here and that we ate animals for the first part of our lives when we didn't know when our parents were feeding us a spoon full of death, just that requires us for so many more years to undo that. Dear animals, I promise to be vegan from now on. That's the kind of shirt that you should make and wear, Maison, you and everyone else who watches this. Here's a role model for you. Here's somebody who actually cares. This person doesn't want any harm to come to humans. He wants humans to become vegan. He wants humans to be kind to one another and to all sentient beings, 
all animals who never did one single thing wrong. Baby boy chicks who are born, and just because they are born as a boy and won't be able to, to lay eggs, they are murdered. He is against that. Maison is for that. You see the difference? Deep Vegan is against treating animals like slave. Maison is for that. Deep Vegan. I didn't even get to finish listening to all of your presentations, but as you can see, you have way more check marks. Maison has two, and those honestly were just a little gift. Maison, you are the clear loser here. And <laughs> Deep Vegan, you get an A+. I want to thank Deep Vegan for his amazing work, working so hard all the time on behalf of the innocent animals who never did a single thing wrong. If you haven't yet subscribed, here's your chance. And for those of you who did not get a hug yet today, give yourself a hug right now. Let's go. Everybody deserves a hug. And even if you got one today, give yourself a hug. Say, I love myself. I love myself. I'm improving. I'm improving. Every day I get a bit better. Every day I get a bit better. That's what you should do all the time because you are always, you're only for sure going to know. Let me say that over again. You are always going to be your own best friend. You are always going to be there. You're going to go through life and people will come and people will go. Family members will come. Family members will go. Friends will come friends will go. Who will always be there? The person who's in the mirror. Who do you always have to look at in order to know if you are, you know, feeling good about yourself? It's the person in the mirror, really. You know if you're a good person or not. Truly. If you're hurting animals, you're brushing your teeth tonight and you're brushing your teeth and flossing your teeth and you catch a glimpse of yourself in the mirror, see if you can look into your own eyes and say, it's okay to hurt animals. See if you can do that. No. You can't because you know it's not. It's wrong. Be kind. Be vegan from now on. And remember, cow's milk is for baby cows. You guys are not baby cows. Nobody should be drinking cow's milk. Only baby cows. That's it. And you shouldn't be drinking even human milk past the age of being a baby. And for sure, don't take any milk away from another species. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you in the next video. Remember, don't follow Maison. Do follow Deep Vegan. This is his backup account right there. Love you guys. Bye. Do, 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 do.